What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, E3 is officially dead. That thing is dead. It's finished. Finito. Pack it up in a blunt and smoke it. We smoking on E3 packs. That thing dead in the water. Take it behind the barn and put it down. It's over. How you say dead in Spanish? I think it's morto. Morta. One of those things. I failed Spanish many times in high school and also again in college. But I'm pretty sure it's more it's more something. Morta, Morta, one of those things. But yeah, it's over for this. Um the ESA, you know, Entertainment Um Software Association, who runs E3 every every year annually, um, have announced once again that both the digital and and uh physical events for E3 2023 are canceled. It's a wrap, bro. Um and it, it's it's kind of sad because right before the pandemic, because the pandemic is partially what caused E3 to, to now be dead. Um, before the pandemic, the E3's popularity and attendance was actually on the rise. It was more popular than ever before. I can't remember when. So Nintendo was the first to say they weren't attending E3, I, I think. And then it was Sony. Um, and now, and then after the pandemic is when you get all these publishers saying that they are no longer attending E3 because they don't need to, because they can literally make their own E3. See, E3 is no longer a physical location. E3 is a season or a time. E3 is, is pretty much June. That's what it is. When, when, when people say or talk about E3 now, it's really like just, it's, it's a season. It's, it's, a, it's a moment in time, right? It's a time of the year, right? It's, you could still say that, oh, when somebody says wait for E3, oh, they mean that, that summer um, that summertime where everybody is going to have their presentations and, and, and their conferences. It's just not going to be at, a, at the actual E3 event. So... You don't need E3 because everybody can put on their own conference. They can pay for it. They can curate it. They can control it how they want. Um, they can, they don't got to give, uh, they don't got to pay, you know, all that stuff. They could just put on their own event. That's probably more cost effective. It, um, and they can have just as much attention as at, on their products as they want. They don't have to share a, a stage with anybody else. Um, and, and, and you know, share any days with anybody else, put it on their, put it on their own platforms and all that stuff. So there's really no need for them to rely on E3 anymore. And they realized it. And that's why all these uh, publishers have their own, um, their own shows that they do throughout the year. Yeah. So this is um, E3's popularity over, you know, I don't know how accurate, you know, uh, this is from IGN, by the way. So it, it starts from 1995, and I would expect uh, IGN's report to be pretty accurate. But if we come down here to, like, from 2017, the pandemic was 2020. This was the first time um, it was canceled. But as you could see, this three-year run from 2017 to 2019, yeah, this was, E3 was popularity was on the rise. It was literally increasing um you could see it, it, it was always steadily increasing um i don't know what the fuck happened here i don't know what what all this shit was um oh I th so this is when they changed the location of e3 like those two years i heard about that um but as you can see you know it was in the 40s for a while uh got into the high 40s and then remember the 20 2016 to 20 uh, 2018 that was just that epic run that um nintendo had and and playstation had and you know xbox was trying um but nintendo and and and, and um playstation definitely had a, a a big run these three years um but 2018 was i think 2018 was no 2017 was that big year they showed what they showed like spider-man and god of war i think i think it was that year um and it might have even been no it couldn't have been 2016 it had to be 2017 Either way, you see the run in the numbers there. And if, even if I go to this chart, you could see it here too. How E3 was on the rise. 
And then the pandemic happened and it shut all that shit down. Um, that pan the pandemic just really hurt it and it just wasn't able to recover a anymore. So E3 2020 was the first one that was canceled because that's when the pandemic started. And then E3 2021, that was online. It was digital only, not very exciting. Um, and then uh, E3 2022 was canceled. They wanted to do that in person. It was canceled. And now E3 2023 is now canceled. So three out of the last four E3s have been canceled. I think they just need to quit or learn how to adapt this digital transition over to a, a digital E3 um, more quickly because they're not, they're not pivoting and, and, and like adapting quick enough. They're, they're just not adapting quick enough. So if they don't, I'm going to give them one more chance. Maybe if they want to do an, an E3 2024 all digital, but it's like, I don't, I don't even know what they're really going to show. Cause kind of like, listen, Jeff Keeley's kind of step, stepping on y'all toes with that Summerfest, you know, with that Summerfest shit he does. And I don't even think that Summerfest show is all, is all that great. Because a lot, a lot of these publishers are keeping all, all the good shit, all the good announcements for themselves and, the, and their own shows. So even Summer, Summer Game Fest isn't all that great. So like I said, E3 is, is just going to be a time and, and a season that people um, get excited for more than an actual uh, event. And... I went to three of the E3s. I went to 2016 to 2018. Um, it might've been 2015 to 2018, actually. Yeah, I don't think I went 2019. It was, it was probably 2015 to 2018 I went. And listen, the, being there is great. Being there is great for the social interaction, to meet, meet up with people that you, that you know and you game, game with. Just to like, you know, hang out, chill, talk to them, talk games and, and all that shit. See people that, like I said, you may be in Discord with or play games with. It's cool for that. It's, it's not the best thing um, to go for to actually cover games. That's the, that's the irony of it. If you want to actually cover games and um, see all the announcements, you, it's actually easier to do that from the comfort of, of your home at your computer. Um, but the conferences were the biggest deal. Like sitting in those big ass audiences at Xboxes, PlayStation, and Nintendo conferences and seeing the announcements right in front of you in real time. Yeah, there's, there's nothing like it. Like being at home is, is not the same thing. Like the, the energy and, and, and just the excitement while being there, you, you really can't match it being home. But I'm not, I'm not mad at this. Like I would probably never go to another E3 again, even if it did, uh, even, even if they did hold another one in, in person, um, I would probably never go again. I enjoyed the experience. Even if like Sony, Microsoft and Nintendo said, Hey, we're, we're going, we're, we're going to go to E3 again, which would never happen. I still wouldn't go. It's something that like, yeah, I enjoyed for those like three years, but it's, it's not something I want again. Meeting up with people is cool. But I'm good. I'm good at just at being home. It was a cool event during that time, but uh, I, I'm I'm great sitting at this chair and reacting and just reacting and seeing all the games like this. Because even at even when you're at E3, even though that's the chance to play some games early, you really don't get to get to play that many games because the lines are long as shit. You could wait. You let's say if you're at if you're at the the, the conference center, like seven hours for that day bro you could easily wait two hours to play one game depending on like how bad people like i I think i remember when division i think division came out was about to come out one of those years i think the line for division you you had to wait like two hours i didn't wait on it but i think you had to wait like two hours to to play division or some shit like that so you could and, and not every game was like that obviously but you could you know in one day, you might be able to play like maybe three games. It's not worth it. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Um, follow me on Twitter if you're not. And uh, hit the notification bell. All right. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.